Hello, my name is Kathleen Coleman and I'm a professor in the classics department. I basically do Latin literature and some Roman social history. And I teach a course in the general education uh, program in the category of aesthetics uh, called um, LOSS, L-O-S-S, -S, one word, LOSS. The purpose of teaching this course is to try and uh, prepare you insofar as one can to face some of the losses that you will inevitably uh, have to tackle in your lives. Some of you may have tackled severe losses already. I hope also to equip you uh, with some techniques for reacting when other people suffer a loss. I also hope very much to introduce you to a wide range, both historically and geographically, of works of literature, art, music, and architecture that may help you to feel supported by our predecessors, many generations of them, who had to try to come to terms with the loss and use these creative forms of expression to do so. I also hope to teach you the wisdom of the Latin saying, carpe diem, which means harvest the day. Because so much of what we love about our lives is ephemeral and fragile and may not last. So the thing to do is appreciate it now. We'll be looking at forms of loss like bereavement, most obviously when you lose a beloved person or a beloved animal. We will also look at uh, forms of losing one's home uh, all the way from losing your house in a fire to actually suffering exile. We will look at amputation where you lose part of yourself. We will lo look at the so-called ambiguous forms of loss. That is to say, uh, people missing in action, the disappeared, um, people who suffered uh, a disease or a brain injury um, that causes their personality essentially to be damaged, although the physical person is still there. And we will look at, at uh, other forms of, of loss along these lines. Um, and oh, all of it, of course, will be refracted for us now through the pandemic, but it's not a course, a course about the pandemic. It's a course about life experiences, which uh, for us are most immediately encapsulated by experiences we've had during the time of the pandemic, but they're certainly not exclusive to the pandemic. I uh, will be using the, the resources of the Harvard collections and places like Mount Auburn Cemetery remotely this semester, uh, but we'll be using them all the same. You will have a weekly response paper to prepare for your section, two to 300 words to hand into your TF. You'll do um, two assignments, uh, one uh, early-ish in the semester of the sort of moderate length and then a more extensive one uh, as a final project. And um, the forms of writing that you will do uh, in the course uh, will be very carefully calibrated um, with uh, due dates and in the case of the assignments, uh, dates for outlines prior to actually writing the, uh, the finished product so that your TF and I can help you uh, to master the techniques that are necessary uh, for you to succeed in the course. Because it's a very difficult topic loss, um, we all need to be very, very mindful of other people's uh, emotions and vulnerability but you also have every license to show emotion uh, on your own behalf. And you will see me shed tears, I'm sure, in the course of the lectures, because this is very, very vulnerable material. Uh, and it's hard, it's hard to do. We're all walking a hard path together in this course. But I have to say, the first time I taught it, the first and other only time I've taught it, which was in the fall of 2019, it was the most profound teaching experience I've had in my career. And I very much look forward to tackling this enormously difficult, very important topic with you this coming semester. Bye-bye. <laughs>